Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. This is episode 4, Everybody Changes. Let's get started. Maybe we should have a safe word. If you're worried. I'm worried I won't like it. Then we should definitely have one. What do you think, Miss Baratsky? What the f- It's Madame. I'm sorry, Madame Baratsky. <clears throat> you must feel relaxed. So if a safe word would help, then yes. This is therapy, right? This isn't like a what sex thing. What should it be? It's, they're gonna, there's a rug pull coming, I can feel it. Banana or... Well, yeah, banana. That's a very cliche safe word. Banana. Banana it is. Banana. Okay. Banana. 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 Sorry, I'm just practicing. Places, everyone. What are they doing? And we're live in three, two... Welcome back. As promised, listeners, we have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky is a past life regression therapist. I knew it, it's therapy. Have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves, from right. ancient Egyptian concubines to Cold War spies. Welcome, Madame Baratsky. Thank you for having me. And of course, it wouldn't be our show without my better and more beautiful half. Say hello, Monroe. Hello, Monroe. Monroe has bravely volunteered to be put to sleep by Madame Baratsky this evening. You make it sound like euthanasia. She's going to wake you up again. Aren't you? Of course. <laughs> Remind me again why you couldn't do it, Poe? Oh my god. Oh. Dodgy me. In just a moment, Madame Baratsky will put Monroe into a trance. I prefer hypnotic state. Into a hypnotic state. And I prefer and not we'll to be hypnotized. And will ask you to describe what she sees. Later on, we'll be taking your calls. Have you lived before? Do you remember any past lives? Or is it all just a money-making racket? <clears throat> Let us know, Monroe. Yes, Bo? Are you ready to meet your past self? I was born ready. Let's hope you were reborn ready. Madame Baratsky, take it away. Now, Miss Monroe, please relax. Close your eyes and focus on the sound of my voice. She doesn't seem very ready. Listen to nothing else but my voice. Listen to nothing else. Madame Baratsky has started the regression process. <clears throat> focus on your arm. Feel how heavy they are. Feel them sink into the chair and pull you into the deep, deep dark. Let the darkness consume you. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. Good. She is fully relaxed and suggestible. Oh, so if we'd gone for the face, she would have scratched that itch on her nose? Into life you have lived before. Do you remember who you are? Yes. Monroe says she can remember a previous life. Shh. It's a radio show. Compromise. Do not rush. 
Let the world come to you. Let it reveal itself to you. I don't know what the fuck you mean. Let the world envelop you. Step into the world and become your former self. Not Edgar. Not Edgar, because it's Poe's coffee cup, right? I get it. Now tell me what you see. The choices were between water or coffee, so I think either way, Cupcake would be happy. <laughs> This looks exactly like the Dr. Decker uh, couch from that Wales Interactive game where you have all those people that come in on the couch and they like say a bunch of things and you're like a therapist or whatever and you have to like remember the things they say. And... What's with the question mark? I'm Elizabeth. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? I swear to God, this is, this is from the other game. Being right. It's a gift and a burden. I need to look this up. Where's Dr. Decker? Yes, exactly. No, I don't need to look it up. They just fucking confirmed it. They said his name right there, Dr. Decker. This is a ref, but I didn't, this isn't a Wales Interactive game, but that one is, or is this? I don't know, I'm confused. He's gone sailing. Weird. I've been coming here for months, and I- Here's the thing about that Dr. Decker game, because I've played some of it. I haven't finished it yet, but I've played some of it. In that game, you can plug a keyboard into the PlayStation or whatever you're playing it on, like an actual USB keyboard, and you can type your responses out to the characters, and the game will be able to comprehend most of what you say. You know, obviously if you do wacky stuff it will, but it's actually really interesting. Definitely check it out sometime. I haven't played it on stream or anything, but like look up a YouTube video or something because like this is clearly a crossover. She lived a past life as a character from that game, which is absolutely nuts. I didn't think this was the same developer. Anyways. I don't really know anything about him. What did he tell you about me? Not much. Oh, uh, you'll see drinking, couple, knife, something. Relationships are hard, especially with my condition. And what condition would that be? Let's play a game, Doctor. All right, fine. You're very accommodating for a therapist. You think of something, then I'll get it. The infectious madness of Dr. Decker, that's what it thats what it was called. I think in the last episode I made a joke that it sounds like the name of a uh, Wes Anderson movie. And it does. The, the, the French coterie of something, something fantastic foxes or something, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I like the squiggly lines. Let's go with that. You're thinking about waves. Sure, like why the not? Like the ocean. Sure, why not? Don't say anything. What did she say her name was again? I mean, you haven't said anything since you've arrived. Do you believe me now? That I can read your mind. I don't know if she was actually in Dr. Decker herself, this character. This might just be, like, an homage. Like, maybe she saw she came to this there Because you play as Dr. Decker in that game. Good. You believe me? I lose a lot of friends right about now. No, she's not. 
But that is the same couch, same room, same Sorry, wall, everything. The dry cleaner's in town. I can't switch it off. As soon as I lock eyes with a person, I get their thoughts. That's weird. What are you, psychic? Alright, let's look into my eyes then, get my thoughts. Let's see if you're right. What am I thinking about right now? Tell me. It's like tuning a radio. If I look at someone, I hear their thoughts. Well, then do it! Anyway, there's this guy who walks in with a suit. It's got a stain on the trousers near the zipper. And all he's thinking when he drops them off is, Sharon can't pick these up, Sharon can't pick these up. So he starts screaming at me that he needs the hour service or he'll have me fired. So I call the manager. Okay. I guess Sharon, who doesn't want to pick them up, is his wife or girlfriend? Either way, he clearly doesn't want her to see the stain. But... Sharon is also the name of my manager. I call Sharon over anyway. Sharon! Sharon! This guy's face is a picture, but he's holding it together. Sharon comes over preoccupied. She's thinking about the washing machines. She is the manager, so she normally does that, but this time was different. She was thinking about Leisha spinning away in one of them. Hmm. The dry cleaning machines are big. You can fit someone in quite easily. You could probably fit a small person into a normal washing machine, actually, if they really tried. Anyway, the store manager hears shouting and comes over. The customer, and let's call him Ed, says that we shouldn't be advertising something we can't deliver. Says he's a lawyer and he'll sue us. The store manager, whose name I intentionally forget, says he'll sort it out. Sharon, in the meantime, has gone ashen. I lock onto Sharon's eyes, and I see it again. Nisha, spinning away in a machine. At this point, I'm guessing Sharon has a fantasy about killing her. Ed finally gives in, throws his suit at me, and leaves. The manager looks at me and says, can you work your magic hands over his trousers? He's thinking of me topless, in a hot tub, but with way bigger breasts. And some other things I'd rather not remember. Knowing people's thoughts eats your soul. Hmm. You know, it's funny. That's a funny thing, too, because I'm the kind of person who overthinks things a lot, and I get paranoid because of the anxiety. So sometimes I wonder what people are thinking, and I think to myself, man, if only I could read their thoughts so I knew what they really thought about me. But hearing this, it kind of makes me think, sometimes it's better not to know, you know? Like, maybe that's the lesson here. You don't want to know what people are really thinking about you. You just don't. Let everyone just keep being fake. <laughs> it's better that way. Okay. Uh... Fine. I guess I painted the picture you might as well think in. That's not what I meant. Thanks for letting me wear a bra, though. They're still too big. Anyway, I take it round back to start working on it. And that's when I see her. Nisha. A ragdoll in a hurricane. Just spinning inside this big machine. Her face smashing against glass and metal. Blood pouring out of every opening. She's a mess.
insane. So a girl you see who can... any jewelry? A ring, maybe. Yes. A ring. Good. I need you to get it for me. Do you understand? How? I understand. Well, this is fascinating, August. We'll be back with more of Monroe's past life in just a moment. What's going on? I'm helping Ellis uncover her past. Why does she need to get this ring? Oh, it's just a technique I use. I think you should bring her back now. It would be dangerous at this point. Then do it at whatever point it won't be. Quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. <sighs> something ain't right here. For sure something ain't right. And the, how this ties in with Dr. Decker is crazy. Crazy! What was the other one? I know I live-streamed a Wales Interactive game that had a bunch of people in it that you'd go to different rooms and interview them about a murder. Let's see... Let's talk about the washing machine situation more. They closed down the store for a while so the real cleaners could come in. They got rid of all the blood. It wasn't just blood. Oh, she actually went through with it. Her skull had split open and was grating against the metal drum. Oh. <laughs> Some of her teeth. Sorry, Doctor. What did you want to know? what they use in dry cleaning machines. But Nisha didn't drown. The spin cycle broke her spinal cord. Oh. So she was paralyzed for a few minutes while her face mashed into everything. Oh, that is terrible. Shock probably got her first. Yeah, but that sounds like a painful and messy way to go. Jesus. What is the padlock for? Yeah. Dry cleaning machines have huge locks. Uh. There's no way of shutting yourself in. You really have to get a friend to help. Or manager. Sharon's fingerprints were the only ones on the machine. Actually... Hers and Nisha's. The police thought she'd struggled against the machine trying to fight Sharon. Nobody heard anything though. That's weird. No sound? So, okay, let's ask about Sharon then. Sharon's in a psychiatric hospital now. They arrested Sharon for Nisha's murder. Right, okay. Sentenced to 18 years. One That's it? Of Nisha's. Is that enough? No. No, not at all. Maybe murder should be punishable by death. Well, that's a controversial topic, but when you think about it, three hots in a cot is just wasting everyone's tax dollars on somebody who murdered somebody. But at the same time, lethal injection in the electric chair has taken the lives of innocents. People who they thought murdered people. I mean, have you seen The Green Mile? Right. I don't know. I don't know. You think people can change? Maybe. I don't know if, I don't know if you can come back from something like that. Maybe I can change. But still. I watched the trial from the gallery. Not many people made eye contact with me, but Sharon did. She wanted to die. Really die. I don't think she killed Nisha. Really? 
Really? Sharon's defense. She said Jared killed Nisha. The Umbrella Man. Jared's the Umbrella Man. It's a nickname. We were on a work do and it started raining and then Jared pulls out this tiny umbrella out of nowhere and then gets handsy with any girl stupid enough to duck under it. Hence, Umbrella Man. Hmm. That's fucked up. Sharon's fingerprints were all over the machines. And her husband was having sex with Nisha. Right, so there's but definitely a motive. That's th there's a motive for sure. Nobody saw her do it though. Right. She just didn't have a good enough lawyer. And also... People with money get away with murder all the time, though. Y you being psychic Fair doesn't enough. hold up in court, so... Is there anything rich people can't buy? Happiness. Nisha worked for Sharon as a housemaid. That's how she met the husband. It's so cliché. Nisha was desperate for money, and he was desperate for attention. I never told anyone this, but Nisha charged Sharon's husband for sex. Damn. I mean, she said she would have done it anyway, but since there was a chance of getting paid... She blackmailed him I for silence. I Sharon knew. Would you pay someone to have sex with you, Doctor? No. People pay people to have sex with them all the time. Just not with money. They do it expecting love, or opportunity, time, companionship, or... orgasms. Okay, semantics. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. Nisha was good at cleaning, what can I say? Often I'd go to the back of the machines to hoover the lint trays out, and Nisha was there with Jared. Hoovering away already. Hmm. I did see Sharon once after the trial. She didn't talk. But in her head, all I could see was Nisha going round and round. Her mind was literally stuck like a broken record. What did she experience? Did she watch it happen? Nisha kissed me once, so. <laughs> I slapped her. Okay. We were in the machine room. She said she'd got something in her eye and would I take a look? So I did. Her irises were lovely and big, dilated. And while I was looking, she just kissed me. But her mind, it was beautiful, shimmering. And then when she kissed me, it, it all fell away. All that was left was shame, fear, repulsion. So I slapped her. What did Nisha think about? <sighs> Nisha thought about Jared a lot. Hmm. She hated him, but she also wanted to sleep with him at the same time. It's pretty common. I'm sure there's an interesting scientific term for it. Yeah, <laughs> angry sex or anger sex. I'd probably take either right now. Nisha was asking for it, wasn't she? I mean, if your partner's cheating on you, you murder their fling, right? Exactly. She'd have killed her husband for sure. Why start with Nisha? It doesn't make any sense. I 
I think Jared killed Nisha. You're probably right. Also, the Umbrella Man makes a good horror villain. I told you about the Umbrella Man. You did. She hated him. But in a lady doth protest too much kind of way. Maybe he killed her. Maybe. Maybe. I saw Nisha's body in the machine. Her eyes were still open. Crying blood. Oof. But I looked into them and... There was peace. Nothing else. Just peace. Damn, that's heavy. Coffee? I'm allergic to nuts. Is this definitely normal milk? I don't know. The milk's a bit funny? Oh, why did I laugh? Maybe it's on the turn. Oh, I should have went with banana, the safe word. <clears throat> What's happening? having an allergic Monroe. reaction in her past life. So. Banana. Banana. Why isn't it working? She has to say it, not you. Should have said up. banana. Monroe. Ellis. If anything happens to her. I... You can go in after her. Just sit down, please. Uh-oh. How can I go in after her? I'd have to get in her brain. I'm very Is... good at what I do. Is this gonna turn into Inception now? Sleep. Damn, that was really good. Holy crap, that was quick. Also, I don't trust her. There's a good boy. To be continued? No, we're still going? Wow, this is a long one. You want to see my ring? What? Don't remember wearing one. Shall I take it off? said that Jara killed Nisha. Yeah, yeah, or you did. Something did. Something? Do you... believe in the supernatural? Sure, why Jared not? Jara killed Nisha. I don't think I'm safe here. Why do you say that? I saw it happen. But I couldn't tell the police. They were in the back room. Jared and Nisha. They were kissing. And then she opened the door to the machine. She just got in. And what? Jared. He shut it. He didn't have fingers. He had. I can't. And the kiss, his tongue, it was, it was a giant worm and it just slithered from his mouth into hers. I tried oh. to catch Nisha's eye. So like a possession type of situation. It wasn't her. It took her over so quickly. Ah, uh, okay, she was possessed. It's thoughts. 
It made her kill herself. I've seen. Basically. Dr. Decker said that if I can imagine another world, I can move myself into it. Just dream myself away. Become someone else. Someone people love. Someone beautiful. Someone who isn't me. What do you think, Doctor? Can I just dream myself away? With your powers? Sure, why not? Thank you. Jared knows I know. And he's coming for me. I guess I should start dreaming. I've always liked the name Monroe. What do you think, Doctor? Oh my god. Would I make a good Monroe? Are you serious? So Monroe is just a dream of this girl from another game. So this girl from another game witnesses a death and in order to escape from it, she dreams up an alternate no, no. reality where she is a different person Do named we... Monroe. And that's what this is. is. That's what this game is. That's mind blowing. Holy shit. <laughs> I, got, I got a gold trophy no, for that, by the way. I'm curious to see, I'm curious to know what would have happened if we chose banana, or what was up with the ring. Uh-oh. You thief. See, this is just a racket. Cover it? I'll see myself out. Wow. These two keep ending up in the goofiest situations. <laughs> How unfortunate. Dr. Decker. On that yeah. note, here's a message from our sponsor that you're sure to enjoy. The police are looking for Miss Baratsky. It's a shame she didn't stick around. Was she even licensed? Well, what would have happened if we took the ring off? She, she came out and recommended. From who? Herself, when she knocked on the door yesterday morning. You had a complete stranger take over my body? I didn't know what she was going to do. I feel so violated. I can't even tell our listeners. We were robbed. She literally took my wallet and your purse. I know. That was everything I had. And that wasn't all she took. What else is gone? My adoption papers. What? What? Why? My adoption papers are missing. I didn't know you were adopted. Well, I am. I'm not ashamed to say it. Sorry, Poe. I, I wasn't suggesting that. It's unsettling when someone takes something so personal. Just who does she think she is? A past lives travel agent who robbed us whilst we were dreaming. But it wasn't a dream. You were there. You and me. As the yes, doctor? just like Wizard of Oz. Oh, he was Maybe the doctor? the reason the people looked familiar is because you made it all up yourself. So, are we dreaming now or is this real? I can't tell anymore. Want Fuck me to if I know. Please? <laughs> no, this is real. How can you be Are you so sure? Cool? Because in my dreams, you're much more of a charmer. And richer, I'd imagine. Too soon, Poe. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Next That's time funny. on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. You're live on air, line one. There was an animal in the road, howling like a wolf. He said it was a hairy animal. The size of a man. And the moon was full. Werewolf. We're going Are we werewolf. really gonna do that? Are we really gonna do that? I'm Casper Light. You have to stay away from Wolf Lane. Wolf Lane? Really? <laughs> yeah, don't go down I'm Dracula sorry. Boulevard. I, I no hear those vampires over there. What's at stake? Dark Knights. Jesus. Oh, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. <clears throat> what do we got here? Safety first. Banana, 72% majority. Thirsty work, 59% majority. Water. Thought of waves. Mm, came in in the middle on that one. Most people went with the square. Capital punishment. 
I was in the minority on that one. Okay. But it was pretty split down the middle, though. 59-41, that's close. That's close. It's almost like 60-40. Uh, justice for all. You think rich people can get away with murder. Majority. Honest exchange. You wouldn't pay someone to have sex. Majority. Collateral damage. You wouldn't murder your partner's fling. Split down the middle. Wow. Half of the people who, who played this have basically admitted that they would be willing to commit murder if their partner cheated on them. That is... Wow. And also it's split down the middle on Spook. Literally split down the middle. 50-50, believe in the supernatural and don't. So that's pretty... That, that Now that I believe because that's just like normal for any... Because technically religion could be considered the supernatural when you think about it. So <clears throat> that's pretty true. But that's... 45% of the people who played this said that they would definitely murder their partner's fling. That's... Frightening. <laughs> That's frightening. Y'all need to take a good long hard look at yourselves in the mirror and really think about that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, though. That'll be it for this episode of Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments down below. And also by clicking that like button. And of course... Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye!